Hey guys, I'm Trim Bianco. This is for EDUC 730, and this is my instructional video. In this video, I'll be going over objectives for my AV Tech class, and I'll also be introducing a 13 shot camera uh, project uh, challenge that this class did, and I got a couple of students to go through this project and demonstrate 13 different camera shots. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so to dive into what our objectives are going to be in this lesson, understand how white balancing a camera affects the picture and what that is, summarize how depth of field contributes to com uh, composing a good picture, and identify the composition of each type of camera shot, uh, illustrate a variety of camera movements, and then illustrate an understanding of different camera shots and the emotions they can convey. Uh, also, everything we're doing right now kind of leads into a project I give my class, and I had two students that were kind enough to help me out on this project and do it. It's called a 13-shot camera challenge so they will go through 13 different kind of camera shots that they've planned out with a script, storyboard, um, and shot sheet. Uh, one of the most important rules in filming is if the audience can't see it, then it doesn't exist. You either got to present some sort of clue to know that uh, it's actually going on. For example, someone might be playing a guitar. So when anytime anyone's filming anything, what, what we talk about in modern classes is you have to give them clues that it's actually happening because if they can't see it, it doesn't exist. Uh, white balancing. Um, anytime you film or are going to start something, you have to tell the camera what to film and what to look for. So basically there's a setting on a camera, you focus in something that is white, and then you can unfocus and you tell the camera what white is, and then by doing that, it also knows all the other colors and it gives it more clarity. One of the most important things too is depth of field. Like when you're shooting something, you can focus in on one specific thing and then you'll have out of focus things just so you can convey the importance of one specific thing. Like for example, in the picture we focused in on uh, the mom and her baby uh, bike riding and the other two things are out of focus. You know, another option to do is shallow depth of field. Like for example, right here we see this one girl, she's on her knees, she's very upset, but out of focus you see this one guy, maybe he said something to make her upset. Um, and then so that conveys emotion to the audience who's watching this. Okay, so this is called shallow depth of field. Uh, one big thing when you're ever recording anything is to use a rule of thirds. Okay, it's basically like having a gigantic tic-tac-toe board on your screen while you're filming, and you always want to put important items uh, at the intersection of the grid lines. And then the type of shots, some you'll see in this 13-shot project video I'll have some of my students doing. Uh, one is an extreme long shot. Okay, basically this is an establishing shot, and I've used two examples over here. Uh, the top one is from Goodwill Hunting, uh, Robert Williams and... Um, Got Matt, Matt Damon are about to have one of their pivotal scenes in this movie and it's set up by a extreme long shot. Below that is Fight Club. Uh, if you've seen either one of these movies, you can know both of these are establishing shots for the scene. Uh, next one is an extreme close-up which can base big emotion. So the examples I used are one from the Blair Witch and from Shrek. If you look at the Blair Witch, she's obviously very scared um, and that's why she's crying. Uh, and then if you were watching the film, you can hear it in her voice as well. And then finally we have uh, a medium shot. Uh, I use Jurassic Park, I use the Avengers, um, and basically it's great for dialogue scenes, a uh, great way to capture both the details of the actor's performance and their surroundings. And then the last thing, medium long shot, you know, also known as a three quarter shot. Frames the whole subject from knees up, okay? Uh, here's Rip Grimes from The Walking Dead. Now, I'm going to flash over to a couple of my students. Uh, they are going through the 13 shot uh, camera challenge, it's a project we do in my class. Uh, these two are kind enough to do a little extra credit work in the summer and put this together. So I hope you enjoy, and it's a great way for uh, our class to uh, learn from what other students have done and have to take constructive criticism. But again, hope you enjoy.
I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, again, we covered the objectives what, that we were going over in my AV to uh, tech uh, class. We went over what wide balance is, the different camera shots you're going to use in this lesson. Uh, and then you guys got to see a couple of my students uh, go out around campus and do the 13 uh, camera shot project that we did. Uh, again, this was for EDUC 730, and I hope you guys enjoyed.